Hi, welcome to my channel and podcast. Have you ever felt like you were just stuck in your spiritual walk? Or you just felt like God was calling you to do something, but you don't know what it is, but you feel the urge to do something? Well, I kind of been feeling that lately. I've been feeling exactly that. And God has placed a spear of people around me that I have been drawing from, that they have been teaching me, and I have been gleaning some things from them. And also reading the Word of God, I'm gleaning some things from it as well. But one of the things that one of the pastors I was listening to today brought up is this passage of Scripture. Joshua 1, 7 through 8, and I'm reading the NLT version, and it says, Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses, Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them, turning either to the right or the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in what you do. And then there's Psalms 1, 2 through 3, and it states, But they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never, never wither, and they prosper in all that they do. That is the answer right there. But I think where a lot of us get stuck in is disobedience. We don't meditate on the law of the Lord day and night. We don't keep his commands. And that brings me to the story of Joshua, part of the story of Joshua, where God was allocating the land to the different tribes. And he had just distributed all the land of the promised land to the different tribes. And he told them, Go and possess this land. Um, I will I will help you win the battles. And so they began to go into these different territories and they were winning. But all of a sudden they started losing. And I thought I was like, well, I wonder why God isn't helping them win in these territories. What's going on? You know, and then later on, I think in the next chapter or so, it was revealed that God said, I didn't just give it to them easily. I wanted to hold that back because I wanted to see if they would stay obedient, if they would keep my commands. And what had happened was, they didn't. They started going wayward again, you know, worshiping other gods and idols and things. And so God stopped. He, so God wouldn't let them win against the people in those territories because they had became disobedient. And he had already given them he had already allocated it to them. All they had to do is stay obedient, just like God has already given us everything that we need. And let me uh, read a passage of scripture on that. Um, in 1 Peter 1, 3, it says, By his divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know him, the one who called us to himself by means of his marvelous glory and excellence. Now that helps us walk a successful, 
faithful life unto him. And also I'm reminded of how he fashioned us in our mother's womb and how he knew us before we were in our mother's womb. And so even before we got here, God had designed us marvelously, he says. He has designed us for his work. And now we just have to come into agreement with him on that and stay obedient, stay in his word and follow his commands, meditate on his law day and night and we would have a successful, faithful walk. It would be fruitful and we will multiply what God has given us. Or he will multiply what he has put in us. So uh, I'm not going to continue to go on on this video. That's all that I have on this matter. But that's been helping me recently. And I thought I would share it with you. If you like what you heard, please like, comment, and share. I appreciate you watching and listening. And y'all have a blessed day. Bye.